Howdy, it's me, Gage. You know me, the kid who finally got in the bell tower? Yeah, that's me. Anyway, it's December, it's the holidays, and it's cold in Logan. Today, I'm off to a new place, and it's actually quite new. Most alumni and even locals may not know about it. Hidden in a deep corner of the Blue Square Apartments, in the shadows of the Maverick Stadium, Perhaps these are the reasons some people haven't yet seen this USU staple. I don't know. But today, today, my fellow Aggies, it will be seen. And my mouth is watering because mm -mm, we have arrived. Chocolate. Ah, oh, yes. Here we are at the Aggie Chocolate Factory, just northwest of campus. One of the few bean-to-bar facilities in the country. Oh man, look at this. Tucked just around the corner here at Blue Square. Who knew, right? Hey, Gage. Welcome to the Aggie Chocolate Factory. Hey, thank you so much. I love your lab coat get up. Thank you. So tell me, Zach, why am I at an apartment building? Having a small environment like this for a uh, pilot plant chocolate factory is great because it gives a lot of opportunity for hands-on learning. Speaking of hands-on learning, Gage, we're gonna bring you inside the chocolate factory and we have a few activities for you to learn the chocolate making process. And by the end of the day, you yourself will be a chocolate connoisseur. I can't say I know much about fine chocolate, but I'm excited to elevate my appreciation today. So, take me away, Mr. Wonka. Today we're going to take you to a few different spots throughout the factory. The first place we're going to go is the bean room. Our beans come from all over the world, from countries that are either 20 degrees north and south of the equator. I feel like I'm getting ready to go and test people at a COVID hotspot. You know, it might feel that way, but in some ways, you're actually pretty right. These beans have just come from the farm, so there hasn't been any process to kill any type of bacteria. So it's very likely that we have salmonella, we have E. coli. It's not uncommon for us to find things like rocks, twigs, or things like that in our beans as well that we have to sort through. To sort beans, what you do is you'll actually crunch them in your hand, and as you can hear, all the cracking, that's actually considered bad beans. Yeah. Now, how hard am I supposed to squeeze? Because I'm worried that I'm like gonna break all of them. You're not. It's just a light squeeze. I yeah. thought it would be more automated, so it's kind of impressive that each chocolate bar is actually a little bit more care than, than you think. You Sam Merrill here. The next place that we're going to take Gage is into the clean side of the facility. So this is where all the magic of chocolate maker happens. Come on. You have to tell me everything about this machine, please. All right, so this is called a melon burst. This is two granite wheels and a granite slab that are just continually rolling. Wow. Grind it down smoother so that it has a better flavor and has a smaller particle size. After about an hour or so, it'll become liquid. And so we'll add our other ingredients like sugar, milk powder, uh, whatever other things are needed for that type of chocolate and then we'll pull it out after about seven days and put them into bars. And I can't stick my hand in there. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to explain to you how to make a bar, but then I actually have a surprise for you. Okay. We 
had some on-campus friends that developed a mold that actually <gasps> has no way. a tower. Um, <laughs> a picture of the bell tower. Look at that. So, so cool. <laughs> That's what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I, at first I was worried I was gonna get like stabbed or something. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> That's so cool. Is that a stream of chocolate? Yes. Are you ready to try? Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. I'm just nervous I'm gonna mess it up. That was okay, I guess. Well, that wasn't very good. Much better, Gage. Yeah. Good job. All right, so now you'll go ahead and press that pedal and shake it out. I definitely don't want to mess this up. Old Main deserves nothing but the best, and I need to be very delicate and precise. Looks good. So while we're waiting for that to cool, we're going to teach you how to taste fine chocolate. Awesome. So you're gonna start out with your milk and then you're gonna slowly move darker. You're first going to uh, smell it. I can't smell anything. <laughs> I told you, my nose doesn't always work. Okay, we'll try that again. Let's see if it works. Okay, ready? I still can't smell anything. We'll just try tasting it. <laughs> Let the chocolate just melt on your tongue. I don't know how to describe it. You start looking for these very specific flavors. And you start trying to be able to identify what it is you're tasting. It has an oaky afterbirth. It's so good. It's just tasty. Excellent. I. I don't normally let it sit. Well, and that's kind of what is interesting about fine chocolate is fine chocolate should be an experience, right? So it's similar to uh, going to the movies. So this isn't a Netflix bar. This is like a this is like a David Fincher type of bar. Now that I know what goes into it, I mean, I you, there's a there's a little bit of extra added appreciation for it. It's interesting. So I noticed the cafe over there. Is everything in there also made with Aggie chocolate from the chocolate factory? Yeah, let's go take a look. What? Meat seasoning? Yep. It's really good on red meats. We also have a lot of different pastries to choose from. We've got gift boxes, baskets. One of our most recent developments was we actually developed a hot cocoa mix. Here is our famous Aggie hot chocolate. We have this no gift way. basket for you. No. And inside of these packages are your bell tower bars. No way. Thank so, you so much. You're welcome. And they got this in the bears. Yo, that's a nice basket too. Wow. Honestly, thank you. You're welcome. That's awesome. If I can do this right. Oh, it, there's a tab. You didn't have to rip it. Yo, that's so cool. And I made it! I'm gonna call my mom. Tell her I made chocolate today. That's so cool. What an awesome experience. Um, I'm kind of speechless. It was just really cool to learn about the process of how chocolate is made. If you guys have any questions about the Chaka Factory, the process of how things are made, or have any questions, please feel free to follow them at Aggie Chocolate on Instagram. Or you can come and visit and take a tour. The wonderful staff here will answer any of your questions and maybe if you're lucky, you can taste some of the stuff that I got to today. Ah, oh, what the heck. I'll just give you guys something too. Comment below some of your favorite chocolate treats and a few lucky winners that I get to pick will receive one of these gift baskets. Until next time, Aggies, peace out.